Hello, in this video I will talk about another application layer protocol. Uh, this protocol is uh, the SMTP. SMTP protocol, which stands for Simple Mail Transfer Protocol. And SMTP protocol is a very important protocol in uh, used in uh, email, in email service. So uh, this protocol follows also the client server paradigm, which means that you have SMTP client in one side and you have the SMTP server on the other side. So we have here the uh, SMTP process, SMTP client process, which is running on a computer in one side, and we have uh, SMTP server process, which is running on a email server, on the email server, right? Of course, these two servers should be connected or reachable across the network. Now, uh, the client, if uh, from the client, for example, once I start my email uh, email client and I want to send a message, I type a message, I write a message, and uh, for example, I type a message that I want to send to somebody. Once I click on send, in fact, what happens, the SMTP client is going to establish a TCP connection with the SMTP server. Of course, this TCP connection should have two endpoints. We'll have two endpoints. On the client side, let's say the process will open port 50,000. 50,000 is a number chosen by, the port number will be chosen by the operating system. On the SMTP server side, uh, the port used it will be 25. So 25 is default port used by SMTP, uh, by SMTP protocol. Any SMTP service running and listening will use port 25 by default. You can change it if you want, but the default port is 25. Now, the purpose of establishing this TCP connection is to send the message to the SMTP server. Okay, so I send a message in this direction. Uh, the, the email send message, the email will be sent to the uh, SMTP server through this TCP connection, and it will be received at port 25 on the SMTP server side. So the same thing here. It, uh, it relies on a single connection and in this single connection you will have a series of commands and at the end the data which needs to be or the message itself which needs to be transferred directly to the SMTP server so each time you uh, start your um, your program your favorite program for sending emails you type a message okay you type a message and then once you click on send in fact what happens uh, your SMTP client your program is going to open through the SMTP client is going to open a TCP connection with the uh, SMTP server uh, at port 25 in order to deliver the message to the SMTP server, which is in fact running a process running on the uh, email uh, server. So I hope this video is useful. Thank you.